It's uh, Saturday, July 15th, 2017. I'm out here on my claim, uh, one of my claims, and uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of the, uh, the layout of my claim, uh, the size and that type of thing. Just give you an idea of what, what I do here. I've got three claims. They're all attached. Um, they go something like this. There's one shaped like that. And there's another one shaped something like this and another smaller one that's attached here uh, now this one here there's a uh, there's a road that goes through the claim and that's where I park right here I park my van right here and that's where I camp this uh, claim here um, it has a creek running through it something like that and there's also a fault line that runs through it, right around here. Um, great big pond right here. But anyways, uh, I found a lot of quartz right around this area. The, uh, the vein of quartz runs all the way up the side of this pond, down through the pond, back down around. Now this here is probably, uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's probably like four kilometers, this. This is four kilometers, this is, I think it's two by two by two or something like that. There's a total anyways of about 652 uh, acres between the three claims. Um, but anyways, later on this summer, I plan on doing some prospecting along the fault line here. But for today, I'm parked right here right now I'll be traveling down through here, over to this big pond here, and I'm going to see if I can pick up some uh, some quartz and maybe dig up some more uh, some more samples that I'm going to be taking home to crush and, and uh, pan. So uh, that's the goal for today, for the weekend. I'll be here all day today and part of the day tomorrow. So uh, that's what I'm up against. So it's uh, it's early morning. I think it's nine o'clock. I just got here. Um, left home at about five o'clock this morning to get here. So it's quite a trip. But uh, looking forward to it. Uh, my camp is all set up. And uh, I'll be heading out to the bush and uh, I'll take some more video whenever I'm in there. So now here's the tent I set up to uh, house all my equipment and the generator. As you can see, I've got a small generator in there. Uh, some of my prospecting tools, a gas can. I'll take a few other things later on from inside the truck and put it out here. But uh, that's how I keep everything out of the weather. Works great. And uh, look around there, there's my van back there, uh, that's where I'll be sleeping. And uh, there's a lot of beautiful bush out here. A lot of bear out here, there's a lot of moose. Uh, I haven't seen very much for deer. Um, there's a lot of partridge, that type of thing, but uh, if I see anything I'll try and capture it on video for you. Okay, so I've made it back to the area where I'm going to be uh, collecting some quartz samples. And I just wanted to show you basically where the vein runs and that type of thing, what, what, what the vein looks like basically. So uh, um, here it is. See this? It's all some quartz. And there is free mill, free mill gold in some of it. I have found some. It runs down along here. Look at how big this pretty piece is here. There's my foot for a reference. It's actually five feet across. I've measured it. So this quartz vein is about five feet wide with a bunch of little stringers running off of it. And what it does is it runs all down through here and then it cuts off and it goes what well, this used to be a beaver pond. I know that the, the quartz vein runs 
through the bottom of this because it comes out on the other side right over here. I've been over there and it goes back down around. So uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be collecting samples from down along here. I've taken some from here before and uh, see it all goes down through here. But then there's a big mess of them over here. A whole bunch of quartz right over here in this area. And uh, it looks like it's It'll be some promising levels. There's a little bit of mineralization going on in there. Maybe some iron oxide. Nice and red there. Looks like some iron oxide to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect a few of these samples. Take them home. And I'll crush them up. And I'll show you what I get out of them, if anything. They're pretty interesting stuff. And there's so much of it here. It's just loaded with this stuff. And it's very red. Beautiful stuff. So, you're going to see. Anyways, I'll collect some. And uh, look at that. Isn't that a shame, that poor pond? It was so beautiful last year, and there were beavers living in here. Last year, this beaver pond was teeming with life. And you can see where the water level was. Look at the big stone over there. The brown spot at the bottom, that was the water level last year. And this was just teeming with life. There's a uh, beaver hut right there. There was a family of beavers in here. And uh, that's where the dam was, down in that area there. And uh, I'm guessing, we had a lot of rain this year, so I'm guessing that maybe they, there was just so much water in here that the dam burst. It looks that way because I went down in that area and I was checking it out. and. It wasn't a piece of machinery in there that dug that up or that destroyed it. It just looks like it let go. Probably a lot of the wood underneath was getting rotten or whatever, but uh, a lot of devastation, but that's just the way nature works. And now, uh, look down here, if you see all this new life starting to come out, there's even little maple trees right there trying to poke the nose out. See that? It's just so interesting the way nature works and the cycles it goes in. It was so beautiful here last year. It was still beautiful. It's just beautiful in a different way, I guess. Yeah, you can see where the water was right here. Way up here. It was probably, oh, at least four feet higher than it is here. Well, a lot of water gone. I just wanted to show you this, too. The very first time I came here, I took a piece of quartz similar to this and I put it right into this depression right here. I took another stone and I smashed it as, as best I could. I took the little bit of uh, dust from the, that was left on the bottom here and I took that out and I panned it and I found nine flakes of gold in it, just in this one little area. So that's what got me interested in this area so I found more since but uh, not a whole lot it keeps me coming back because I, I just love this area and uh, it seems promising to me because as you can see it's just a beautiful area out here beautiful today too it's like 30 degrees Wow check this out another one of the superior perks of being out in, in nature especially this time of the year. Check this out. There's blueberries by the millions. And are they ever tasty? I guess I know what I'm having for lunch today. Look at them. Full of them. I gotta, I gotta eat all this before the bears come and get it though. I'm not leaving them any. The heck with them. Mmm, mouthful coming in. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, look at them. They're all over the place. Okay, so uh, it's been a long day. Done a lot of walking, a lot of prospecting, and uh, time to go back to camp. The sun's starting to go down there. 
but it's been a great day and uh, I just want to show you what it got check this out there's a the sample I'm bringing back a lot of nice beautiful samples there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that home and crush it and hopefully find some gold in there that'd be nice yeah It'd give me a good idea of where it's going if, if there's anything in it if there's not well I'll have to try someplace else that's what prospecting is all about that's what makes it so much fun is the chase it's just uh, it's invigorating so hopefully there's something in there if not we'll keep her going that's all time to head to back to camp